hi guys welcome back to my channel b2 stitches please don't forget to subscribe so in this tutorial i'll be teaching you how to make a key or bubble gown okay so if this is what you would like to learn kindly watch to the end give this video a thumbs up share and like and don't forget to subscribe as well so i'll be using this ankara fabric as the main bodies and i'll be using the chiffon fabric as a pleat that's to make a stylish pleat at the end of the gown okay so we'll go ahead to the cutting of the style now i'll fold this fabric into four which i have done here i folded the fabric into four after measuring the full length of the gown so i folded it into four so now i'll go ahead and measure the neckline okay because this upper part here will be our shoulder line so I'll go ahead and measure the neck width which is 3.5 and I also go down to measure the neck depth which is 5 inches just so we can draft our neckline okay that's 5 inches over there so I'll be drafting a round neck for this you can draft whichever type of neckline you want but for this tutorial I'm drafting a round neck okay so now I'll measure the shoulder measurement which is 16 16 divided by 2 is 8 so I'll measure 8 inches and mark a point from there, I'll come down by one inch for us to have a shoulder slant, and I'll join the line to the neckline. Okay, so now I'll move the line forward just so we have a perfect shoulder slant to avoid the fabric standing on the shoulder. Okay, it has to rest on the shoulder, that's why we are having that slant over there. Okay, so now I went ahead to cut cut out the round neck. I'm having the same measurement for the front and the back of the neck. Okay, so this is what we have. Alright, so now we'll go ahead to cut the key O part of the dress, which is actually the main reason for this tutorial. Okay, so I went down by 18 inches, okay, I went down by 18 inches, I drew a line over there to mark our 18 inches, then I measured, I measured our waist measurement, divided by 4, and I added 1.5 inch for ease, okay, the waist measurement divided by 4, and I added 1.5 inches for ease. So from this 1.5 inches, which I have added to the waistline, I will go down by 1 inch and I will come down by 1 inch as well. Okay, I went down by 1 inch. I went down by 1 inch. I went up by 1 inch and I also went forward by 1 inch and I, and I joined the lines together. Just so we can cut out the round shape through which the belt can pass through okay so you can see what I have there I'm just trying to mark it out for so you can see what we have at that middle point so I'll go ahead and mark a point or give a notch in the middle of that O which I drew so now I'm cutting it out just the way I drew the circle okay so you see what we have this is as easy as the way you're seeing it we have our key already the person I made this for didn't want um, the O to be too wide that's why we are having this smaller hole I'm sure you can see it so now I went ahead to cut a facing for the neck I place the fabric under the neck and cut out the neckline just the way we have it. Okay, so this is me cutting out 
a facing for the neckline. So now we'll go over to the sewing machine and sew the facing on it and also sew the shoulder line. So after sewing the neckline, you see this is what we have. I turned in the facing and I've also sewn the shoulder line. You can see what we have. You can see how it is looking. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and sew the key O part. Okay, so to sew this, you open the fabric up. Just watch what I am doing. You open one of the fabric up and you pick it up like so. And you also pick the other the other one and join them together in such a way that the right side of the upper part is facing the right side of the lower part of the fabric. You join them together in such a way that the right part of the fabric are both facing each other. So you hold down with your pin, then you take it to the sewing machine and join it together. Okay, so I'll go back to the sewing machine and do that now. So after sewing, you see, this is what we have. After sewing, please don't forget to give it a little notch inside. Just notch it little by little round so that the sewing can rest well. Okay, so I have marked the center line of the dress. Just so we can mark, we can have equal measurement on both sides in sewing the side seam. Because this, this side is supposed to be outside. We are not sewing it inside. Okay, so after that, I measured the bust line, which I marked. Then I came down by 10 inches to give us our ham O. Okay. I came down by 10 inches from the shoulder to give us our ham O. So from there, I measured our bust line, added 1 inch allowance on both sides. And I also measured our hip line on both. I divided it. I divided. I divided what we have on both sides. Okay. And I also and I also added one inch on both sides for ease. So this is what we have here. So that so that line is what we are going to follow and sew downward. Okay, so I'll go back to the sewing machine and sew it just the way I have marked it on the dress. Okay, you follow the line like so downward, just the way you are seeing it. All right, so after sewing, this is what we have. So now I'll pick the chiffon fabric and cut into pieces so we can use that as a pleat round the end, which I have done. I went over to cut the chiffon into pieces and now I'm going to attach it at the end of the dress all round. Okay, so I'm just using the pin to hold down the pleat so I can see how we are going to do it. You see what we have over there. I'm sorry, this is not showing too well. So this is what we have with and without the belt. You can see what we have with the belt. You can see the keyhole there. You can see the hole. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.